Oh, hey. Didn't see you there. I was just out here in the garden reading a book from the Lala Farm, Five Acres and a Dream. They sent this to me uh, from our, their 5,000 subscriber, huge giveaway, uh, big party they had online. They're live and I won the book so I've started reading it. Um, just, just got into it a little ways so I'm not that far into it. But Yeti thinks it's a great book. Uh, this is by Lee Tate. It's all from a blog that she's done for many years. And um, it's very, very interesting. And uh, it's it's uh, about what it takes to become, become a successful homesteader. So it's very interesting. So Rick sent a lovely La La Farm sticker. Um, and then a nice thank you card. And um, he also sent a Clyde's Garden uh, planner. And these things are great. I have one um, and I'm gonna try to find it. I think it's probably in my journal that I have, my gardening journal. Um, but I'm gonna give one to my daughter, I think, if, uh, if I can find my other one. But these things are great. Um, this thing, it's got, um, the fall and the spring frost dates so if you find out when your last frost date is um, you can line it up with the red line onto the dates up top and it'll tell you um, when your first outdoor planting should be around and um, uh, when you can st when you should start your seeds I mean roughly obviously uh, play every everywhere is different and um, but it also on the side has if you pull it out this is like a it's a pull you know you pull it to to line up the different dates and the different things but on one side it has all your vegetables um, that you can put in. And then over here, it shows your companion plants. So I just did a companion plant uh, video. Of course, it's not all the companion plants, but it was just to touch base on some that I had never seen before, or heard of, that you could use. Uh, so that's why I kind of touched on that because everybody knows, you know, your marigold and stuff, which was also in there. But there was some other stuff in there as well that I found very interesting. So, um, yeah, you just line up your little red line with the date of your last suspected frost. Um, and ours goes from either the middle of May or the end of May. So you just kind of line that up somewhere there. It all depends. Mother Nature, you never know, right? Um, and so you line it up and then it just shows you, lines up your check marks with your dates. FP is first planting. And I'll put, I'll get some close-ups of this, but um, this is a very good, this is Clyde's uh, Garden Planner. And uh, it's a very good resource to have when you're getting ready to start seeds or plant your garden. So thank you, Rick from Lala Farm, Rick and Lala and uh, little Rick and family. Um, they are a great family. If you're not familiar with them, go check them out, the Lala Farm. I will put a link up above for you to check out um, their, their channel because they are a very nice family. They do lives every week. It's a lot of fun. Um, and Rick is a wealth of historic knowledge, I feel like. Uh, I thought my husband was, but um, I think Rick, I think him and Rick, if they got together, they would be, uh, they would just talk and talk and talk forever <laughs> um, about history because my husband loves it too. So, uh, but anyway, thank you guys for the gift, the book, the sticker, um, the garden planner. And of course, a while ago, I also won this awesome, very tame t-shirt. <laughs> I got to pick the color. Love it. You guys saw the back. The Lala Farm on YouTube. Check them out. So I figure since I'm out here in the garden, I'd show you guys what I've been up to. I've been putting up my fence, my fence back up. 
Uh, the very first storm last year was a very wet, heavy snow ice storm and it knocked down my whole fence. It, no it knocked it all over, all my, my stakes that I have in the ground, um, which are just trees I cut from our woods because we have lots, as you can see. Um, and as I'm clearing, I just save ones that I think would work well and I put them in the ground. I've got a few braces in there and I've extended the garden like I said I was going to. So of course I'm not done. You know, it's a little not all the way fixed, but it's it's starting. I've I've been working on it um, here and there. So I have extended it out. Oh, I don't know, 15 feet maybe. I'd say 10 feet, 12 feet. I don't know. I'm not good at that until I get a tape measure. But I've started. So that gives me all this room here for activities, which I'm very excited about. Very excited to extend this on. I've got it blocked over there because I want to put a gate in over there. So I need um, to sturdy up my post, put another post in. I bought some more chicken wire and I have a, um, a piece of pallet or I don't know, a piece of, piece of wood um, that I'm going to use as my door because I want one on both ends of my garden because my compost is way over there. So I'd rather go through this door to get there. Um, and also, which may change my plans, I'm not sure, may or may not, I am getting a greenhouse. If you follow along, we were going to take that frame that's right there, and we were going to, I bought plastic, and we were going to put plastic around it, and we were going to put polycarbonate roofing on it, and some sides and build door frames and all that on both ends. And uh, it was gonna be five feet by 10 feet. And I decided I didn't wanna do that because everything was so expensive with wood, two by fours and all that. And I said, never mind, we won't. I'll just use my bed like I did last year. And this is just, again, just pieces of wood that I, or trees that I cut out in the woods and they're thin enough so that I can bend them. I bent them over and made like a, a frame over the top of that bed. And that's where I put my seedlings last year. I brought them in a few nights when it was gonna be too cold, but I just put uh, plastic over it and it made a mini greenhouse right there. So I said, you know what, that works, it's still there. That's what I'm gonna use. Well, my husband decided, no, that was not a good idea. And we're going to get a pre-built small, just a small greenhouse. So I went to Lowe's. They had some selection. We're having one delivered sometime next week. And I'm thinking about putting it in this area here. It's a six by six by six, a little bit bigger, six and a few inches. Um, and... So I'm thinking I got to get my tape measure and measure it out. But I want to think, I think I want to put it in this corner inside the garden. And that way, if I want to leave my door open, I can. The chickens won't get in. They'll get into everything. So I'm thinking it'll fit there. If I need to, I can extend my garden even further. I just leave a little room to get to my junk pile over there. Doesn't everybody have a junk pile with all their extra fencing and uh, what not. Uh, please tell me you do. Anyway. <laughs> so yeah, so you know, I've got makeshift things everywhere. But um, yeah, I've got to keep the chickens out because I unearthed my garlic so that I could feed them uh, and see how they were doing. I'll show you here. Let's see if I can the sun's just starting to hit it. It's looking really good. I think every single, maybe almost every single bulb that I planted came in. And the door was open and I went inside for a second. And the next thing I know, the chickens are in here. This four by, or three by six bed of garlic. 
and these the chickens were in here digging and digging. I don't think they harmed anything. Actually, they may have stirred in some of the blood meal that I put in there for the to feed the garlic. But they free range. These guys are free range. I told them that. I'm like, guys, you free range. I'm like, guys, yeah, Yeti, you free range. Why, why in hell are you getting into my one little three by six garlic bed? When you've got all these woods, you got all the lawn, you got everywhere around here. Why do you have to be right in there? Well, they didn't answer, of course. And they had a fit when I kicked them out. I closed the door, I blocked off the other end so they cannot get in here anymore. They have stirred up my beds a little bit, which is really good, which is kind of what I wanted them to do. But chickens, you know, they're great, but they're a pain in the butt. I think they heard me say that. Uh-oh, probably in trouble. Uh, anyway, guys. Um, yeah, still got some work to do out here, so I'm going to get started. Thanks for joining me. Like, share, subscribe. Have a great day. Look ahead, the sea is calm, and I know we've been through a lot, but just wait. For better days to come and carry us like wind